every businessman, when he begins his enterprise, business enterprise, he always names it, baptizes it. So what is your story between, behind naming your organization as Kohinoor? You all know what Kohinoor means. When you call any business Kohinoor means, it must be the greatest of all. And there were two things existing before I came to the other area. One was the Kohinoor cinema. And I was just going from a footpath of Kohinoor cinema and therefore Kohinoor came to my mind. And the second was the biggest mig, which was known as Kohinoor mig. And therefore I start, gave the name because I saw these both the institutions in the other area. And uh, I thought giving a name is so important that if I name it as Kohinoor Meg, I will be as rich as the owner of Kohinoor. Which subsequently happened. <laughs> Sir, during your uh, growing days in business, you were also busy with your public life. So to do business, you must have had multiple partnerships. There are a lot of us sitting in over here who have joint ventures, partnerships. So can you throw some light on how to make a partnership successful, that is one. And if it is not successful, then how to dissolve it successfully? You see, partnership forming, I did it only because somebody said that we have no money, how can you do with business? You ask anybody to business, do business, he will say that business requires money and we have no money. So whenever we want money, you must go to a rich person and form a partnership. And catching a rich man is not a difficult task because normally rich people are also in the search of good people. That the business grows provided you have good people with you. And good people also, they are good because they keep on doing something else than business. And therefore, these both persons, come, persons or group of persons coming together and doing business gives them success. Finding out good partner, making a partnership and find out a partner with money is also a work. So such a businessman requires money, such a businessman requires a partner who wants somebody to invest money in the business is also absolute necessity. Friends, this thing is not difficult, provided you have a strong desire to do it. Sir, about diversification, like you're into five industries, you're into education, construction, power, hospitality and wellness, hospita uh, hospitals. What is the correlation? Diversi diversification is very good. There are some people who say that you should focus only on one line of business and become the master of it. There are some people who say that you should do multiple businesses and still grow big, like Richard Branson. There are some people like Dr. Manohar Joshi who are into five businesses and grown big. So how do you diversify? What do you think when diversifying? What is the correlation between education, construction, hospitality, hospitals and power generation? What is the correlation? As a matter of fact, the only correlation is its business. But otherwise, no one man can do such business if he wants to become really master in some business. He should be master in earning more and more money. In my business, I have always thought the best business is one which pays you maximum. You know, in a business, I have three categories before me, always. And I have been always saying that do three businesses, don't do only one business. Because then the one business that you do goes to loss means your family has nothing to eat. And if your family you want to keep happy, means do three types of businesses. One but business, for instance, construction, if you are doing a business of a speculation, then also do a business of hotels, which is a steady business. And the third business is that in every business, you must go on increasing your money. 
द इनक्रीज मनी शुड बी ऑलवेज केप्ट इन ए बैंक सो एट लीस्ट यूर फूड इज सिक्योर्ड ऑल दिस दो टू बिजनेसेस स्पेक्यूलेशन बिजनेस एंड स्टडी बिजनेस इफ दे गो टू लॉस दे नो सो एवरी डे एवरी डे फूड विल बी प्रिपेयर एट होम सर माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर्मूला दैट यू अप्लाइड इन योर बिजनेस इन द फील्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन बिजनेस वेन यू स्प्लिट विथ योर पार्टनर सो हाउ वॉज दैट फॉर्मूला ऑफ एग्जिट इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर्मूला फ्रेंड्स यू विल बी वेरी इंप्रेस टू लिसन टू दिस आंसर मे ए क्वेश्चन विच प्रॉब्लेबली एवरीबडी कैन अडॉप्ट इन हिज बिजनेस इफ देर इज अ टाइम फॉर पार्टनरशिप as a matter of fact partnership has not to be remain not to do throughout the life it is it is to be done a, both the partners need it and when both the partners think that it is the time that we must part from each other they should do that i would tell you how to dissolve partnership i don't my own formula which my partner also accepted but when the partnership was to be dissolved i remember we both sat together and thought what to do should we go to court or should we appoint an arbitrator for dissolution of partnership and therefore i prepared one list of my all business assets everything and after making that list i kept it before him and i told him that out of this list two list were prepared take the list which you want he said no mr joshi i will prepare a list i said you prepare he prepared two list and he said this house this hotel this that you see it mr joshi and i selected and now i took it and another party another thing he took the total expenditure for dissolution of this partnership was 3 rupees because for one cup of tea it was 1 and a half rupees and therefore two teas means 3 rupees so in 3 rupees the partnership was dissolved and we are still good friends so for dissolution of partnership so we go, could spend 3 rupees and got it dissolved fantastic it is a wonderful formula did you all understand what it did divided the entire business into two list one partner made the list the two list and the other partner was given the option to select the list so there cannot be a bias and there cannot be a miscalculation right i think this is your own made and formula and we did not take third person's advice that is also important <laughs> <laughs> sir you have been a very successful personality in public life as well as in business as a succession plan how did you like uh, mr unmesh joshi is himself a very very uh, low key person uh, not uh, visible like how you are very visible so how did you groom him up to become a very successful businessman i know him personally very well I and he's a fantastic businessman so how did he uh, how did he get coached up before 25 years i brought him into business he had nothing only one table my expenditure was only one table telephone and everything what is required in office so he see, he used to sit next to me and see what i am doing after 5 years i told him to become my partner and i gave him 25% partnership and 75% i have kept with me you always remember that your share in a partnership must be bigger than your partner's share so he became my partner 25% partner second year third year i increase it to 50% and now i have transferred everybody to him every parting of business is transferred to my son i don't go anything and if somebody comes and says give me your advertisement i send him to my son and my son never meets people fantastic <laughs> after all is my son don't forget it <laughs> because motivation is also a secrecy in business secret keep keeping secret things secretly is his motivation so the simple formula is you made your son sit in your cabin for 5 long years yes, yes. where he could observe you and learn people skills as well as uh, become sharp in today's uh, ways of work 
fantastic i think that's a good succession plan that we should uh, follow with our our uh, family at home